uh, what about the, the uh, effect of some of these things on medical librarianship, either in the past or as you see them in the future? For example, what is the effect of lay users, uh, the ordinary laymen using medical libraries? Well, we, because the New York County Medicine is open to the public, mm -hmm. we refer people to the New York Academy of Medicine. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, uh, everyone is uh, into patient information mm -hmm. and so on and so mm -hmm. on. And at New York University Medical Center, we have a unique program which is called uh, Co-op Care. We have a facility mm -hmm. that uh, when a patient really doesn't need to be hospitalized, they can be put into co-op care. They have to be ambulatory. They, uh, it's just like a fine hotel, and they go to um, um, cafeterias, cafeterias for lunch. That's, mm -hmm. that's the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a nursing education department in this, which are, they are building up material for the layman. And they eventually want to put it under the patient's library, and they eventually want to put the patient's library under me. Mm -hmm. We have a new executive uh, vice president. This is one of the changes that he wants to do. So mm -hmm. I will probably get involved in, in uh, uh, material for the layman quite soon. But at the present time, we. Uh, you think in general it's a good idea or a poor idea? I think in general it's a good idea for the patient to, uh, mm -hmm. to know.
one of the other activities that you don't list on your CV, but I seem to recall, was that you testified for MLA in front of a congressional committee. Tell me a little bit about that. Was it overwhelming and frightening? Well, it was an overwhelming and frightening experience. It was it was one of the more interesting experiences of my life, too, and it came about in an interesting way. Um, it was at the beginning of the Reagan administration, uh, and as you recall, uh, an administration which had a or it felt a mandate from the voters to pretty much dismantle uh, the federal bureaucracy. And uh, one of the uh, targets, one of the very small targets, but nonetheless a target, was uh, the National Institutes of Health and the National Library of Medicine. And there were some very um, uh, conservative and, and active uh, young physicians who really wanted to preside over this uh, uh, demolition. Uh, we had a very strong, very conservative senator from the from Utah, uh, Senator Orrin Hatch, who was the chairman, who became the chairman of the. Uh, Labor and, and um, I believe that the committee is Labor and Human Resources. And uh, one of Senator Hatch's uh, interesting uh, tactics, I guess, in maintaining his position as senator from the state is to bring people from his home state to testify on all kinds of, of uh, projects of this kind, and the renewal of the Medical Library Assistance Act was coming up, and there was quite a, 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 a vigorous opposition to it that was coming from, uh, from young physicians who had, didn't know what they were doing. You know. It was just the idea of getting the government entirely out of, out of uh, medicine. So Senator Hatch decided that the medical librarian from his home state should testify.